see it, feel it, be it is sort of a distillation of some of these teachings as well and it's very powerful. I do recommend you utilize this just for everyday occurrences, for the flow of everyday life, kind of like in segments. So when you're driving over to this venue, you can visualize just for 10 seconds, just like the joy of arriving here, like safely and soundly and seeing all these people and just the feeling of it. And then you let it go and you just drive and you just feel good, play some music that you really enjoy, do a meditation you really enjoy. And before you arrive, before you know it, you arrive here and exactly what you visualized occurred. And then the next segment, it's like for 10 seconds, picture yourself sitting in the room just feeling so good and buzzing on the vibration of this retreat, seeing how the meditations just open your mind in ways that you didn't thought you were capable of. Just feel that vibration, that representation for a little bit and let it go. Forget about it. Play some music that you enjoy, talk to a friend that you enjoy. Um, have some fruit, whatever. Just be in the present moment and enjoy the well-being of the present moment. What you've already accomplished, what you're already capable of, how far you've already come. If instead, you get this right, so segments, so in segments you kind of create, you just insert a seed, you make that segment of your day intentional for a moment, you visualize it, you see it, you feel it, you be the vibration of it, but then you take that vibration with you into your present circumstances. If you were to visualize for too long, this is what most likely happens, almost for everyone. You lose the capacity to imagine what you want and you start referencing how you don't have it yet. There's a grace period there. You want to stop visualizing before the grace period ends. You want to, when you visualize that which you desire, and it can be something material, it can be something emotional, it can be something spiritual, it can be enlightenment related, um, if you're like organizing an event like this, it can relate to that event being really successful and everyone really getting out of this, what they wanted out of this. And you just set those intentions, those short chunks, you insert them, you let them go, completely forget about them, do something else. Because remember, it's not about what you're visualizing, it's about how you're feeling in the moment. If you can step into alignment no matter what, then that reality will come your way, you don't have to worry about it. So if you had to choose between acceptance or visualizing what you want, choose acceptance. Because the thing that you want to visualize, the reason it excites you is because you already want it. So it's already known. A level of your consciousness already knows everything you desire, better than you know. What you're dealing with is just the visual and the verbal translations of that gut feeling, of that true intention of why you chose to incarnate and what are the means and the events that you need to organize for yourself and lessons and people into your life to be most efficient and most beautifully crystallized is that intention that you had when you came into this world. It already knows that, you see. So all you're doing is you're lining up with that by briefly visualizing something that represents that vibration to you, that feeling state. Something that makes you feel free, abundant, happy, like everything is possible, like you can make a difference in this world, like people benefit from your presence. Whatever your calling is, whatever your intention is, line up little things like that in your imagination, just for 10 seconds at a time. See it, feel it, be it, let it go. And focus back on what is positive right now. That's why the power of appreciation and gratitude comes in. Because again, if you were to drive your way here and you started imagining being here and your mind getting blown and having such a good fluid experience, after about 10, 20, 30 seconds, depending on who you are, there may be all these like beliefs that start creeping in for some people sooner. So you've got to kind of mind that for a little bit. Become aware of that. Get to know how you operate. What's your grace period there? How long can you maintain a positive image of yourself over there, say future presence, you, the realized you, the accomplished you, how long can you maintain that vision before it turns into, well, I, and then I want it to be this way and this, but this couldn't happen, and then how would I do this? Before you start thinking logistically, right, with the linear mind, the Western mind, you don't want to do that because it uh, induces lack, it pulls you out of alignment, and now you're postponing the thing that you already want anyway, it's already known anyway, it's already coming your way anyway, but you're now preventing it by visualizing it. Every topic is really two topics. It's either the presence of it or the absence of it, the lack of it. 
So can you think about what you want in a completely positive, good feeling way? By all means, visualize away. Enjoy that. But you know, you wouldn't want to do this for longer than a few minutes anyway, because your life is now, right? So you, and you're learning now, and you're being here now. But you can intent this for segments, and they will come true over and over and over again. They will come true. Magical things will come true. It just happens. And if you do it this way, like I just announced it, short, brief bursts of, hey, I have a bit of excitement right now. Let's just visualize something that would be really epic and above and beyond what I would normally expect with my normal waking up mind and my normal as I wake up in the morning and my normal assumptions. Let's just elevate that expectation for a second without judgment. Just like, just imagine an exciting picture for the rest of the day. Just do that 10, 10 20 seconds, maybe 30, maybe 5. Just visualize it, set that intention. That's going to happen or something along those lines. That feeling is going to happen. Again, don't, you can make it specific, but don't demand the specifics. Again, that turns negative. That turns into lack. That turns into control. It's very important that you keep flowing. You keep flowing. Prioritize the well-being of now. Prioritize how grateful you are currently for everything that is here. If you stay in that flow and you briefly have those spurts of future presence with a positive connotation to it, you're going to upgrade and upgrade and upgrade the way that your consciousness is able to perceive slash manifest reality. And it's going to be one magical ride. Maybe you get into an argument. Visualize a positive outcome to that argument and let it go and be present. Have faith in that and allow that to make you feel good in the present moment while you're still arguing. Allow it to transfer that vibration from there into here. You can only get here from here or there from there. You can't get there from here. I've already touched upon this, but I'm going to emphasize it a little bit more. It's not about the thing you want. It's just what you think you want. And again, your minds are already more mature than most people that deal with just the law of attraction teachings. At least most of you. I don't know all of you personally, but this is my sense. So you're already familiar with this. Your desires have already evolved for most of you into a more expanded, holistic view that includes being of service to others and all that stuff. So that's great. I mean, that will really prevent you from a lot of law of attraction disorders. <laughs>
of having that epic life or like being an expression of everything is possible or standing in front of a group of people and helping them transform their lives or being the best painter in the world or just having fun at small parties, being a singer, whatever it is, it doesn't have to be big or small, whatever. The things that you desire are always above where you're currently believing yourself to be. That's why it's such a tricky game, the law of attraction. If it's not understood properly and holistically, it's very tricky. Because if you don't know all this stuff that I've been sharing in the past hour, you will just focus on the thing you want as a physical person and you'll try to get there from here and you can't do that and you'll just frustrate yourself. But if you understand that this is a communication mechanism between higher mind and you and that none of the things that you think you want is actually what you want. What you want is to fulfill the intention that gave birth to this body. It makes sense, right? Again, it's a means to fulfill a purpose. You're here to use the body as part of a collective to explore and express a certain theme in life. So how can you most effectively do that? Well, it's not by having a lot of negative thoughts about yourself or life in general. It's the crystallization of a unique geometric vibrational pattern. And you can't put that into words. You can't, we have no symbols for that in our lower mind, in our physical mind. So the translation of that vibration of the creator is translated to us as something that we understand that represents that true vibration. And so what this does, this is the dangling carrot. This is what teases you to work on yourself, to explore yourself, to reflect on yourself. How can I get there? Now, of course, now you know you can't get there. You have to become it. You have to download that package. You have to open the package in your imagination and you have to feel the vibration that that package represents. Okay, so if you want a lot of money, you have to really wonder that that's not why you incarnated. Trust me, it's not worth it. <laughs> all right, if you have all the money in the world being incarnate, it's not worth the effort of going through the birth canal and all that stuff. <laughs> Forgetting everything about every, everything that you are, having to find it all over again, 99% probability that you completely get lost and you have no clue who you are until you die. <laughs> it's not worth being a millionaire or a billionaire. Okay, that's not why you came here is my point. So it's just from your limited point of view that money excites you. I'm not saying that if money excites you, you have a necessarily super limited point of view. It's not necessarily true. But it excites you and we have to acknowledge that we have a more limited point of view than the higher mind. Otherwise, we can't go anywhere. We're just arrogant, stubborn and stuck where we are. So, but I'm assuming you guys have that openness or you wouldn't be here. So being a jazz musician or uh, being a millionaire or something that represents to you an epic life where you feel free, where you feel powerful, where you feel you are loved, where you feel you are making a difference. That's the image translation that your brain can understand so that it has something to aim for, something to gauge itself by, something to know, hey, this represents this reality and it may look something like what I imagine, but it rarely does exactly. It's always more surprising. But you're still, you're downloading a sense of what that higher parallel vibratory reality will feel and look like. That's your image of it. It's communicating to your current sense of self so that you know what you need to match the vibration of in order to, in a way, ascend along the lines of becoming the fullest expression of what you are. Recognize when your visualization turns sour. For some people, that's before it even turns positive. So then you've got some work to do, <laughs> right? You have to find loops. You have to be consistent with finding something that does excite you and visualizing that, seeing that, feeling it, be, and completely letting it go and then focusing on something you appreciate in the moment, getting back into the here and now but with a vibration of gratitude, appreciation, okayness, well-being. That's the quickest way for you to attract this reality or rather for yourself to be pulled up into that higher vibratory state of who you are.